Jackie Winters is going to be remembered as a lot of things. A politician, a mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother. But for those who filled the Senate floor, she's going to be remembered most fondly as a friend. Senator Winters had a calm about her and a deeply admirable gentleness. When conflict arose in the building, she was able to counteract any rising animosity. She was described as a trailblazer and a pioneer, being the first African-American Republican elected to the Oregon State Legislature. Senator Winters had a social conscience that was overpowering. Whether you know it or not, she helped found the Oregon Food Bank years and years ago. Hunger, particularly with children, really affected her. Her life was far from easy. When she was a little girl, her family lost everything in the Vanport floods. But it was her deep faith that made her so strong. But I'm sure it was in that church, Allen Temple, was where Jacqueline Francis Jackson, my mother, received a powerful rebirth and, and, and comforting spirit that led her forward throughout her life. All of her family and friends say she lived to serve her community, something she was doing until the end of her life. While this room is generally filled with sides and differing opinions, today it wasn't about politics. The song that keeps running through my head is the Beatles song, Come Together Now. And that's what Jackie did for this building is she brought us all together and we're all missing her. It was about a woman who both sides loved and adored. The name of Jesus lifted. Now, obviously, Jackie was known as a politician, but she was also known as a businesswoman early on in her career. Right around the mid 80s, she started a restaurant called Jackie's Ribs Restaurant. And that was something a lot of people talked about during her memorial services. Some described them as the best ribs they've ever had. Back to you guys.